This video is not for kids. Go do your homework. All right, everybody, I am back for part two of getting my dolls dressed for winter and getting them out of their Christmas outfits because, like I said in the last video, it's almost February and it's getting kind of crazy. So um, anyway, yeah, I'm just going to keep uh, on with where I left off. And if you haven't watched the last video, uh, I'll, I think I can figure this out <laughs> at this point. But I'll put uh, one of the cards in here so you can jump back and watch the first part and see if you want to get invested in part two. But anyway, uh, we're up to Molly now. So I'll uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get Molly all ready for a rainy day. So yeah, um, I'm actually going to dress my uh, Molly that I just got. I actually got her, I think, after Christmas. Um, but I got this really, really beautiful... Um, she's another big tooth, uh, but she's a 1987... Um, yeah, 1987 big tooth Molly. Um, and again, if you haven't heard... Um, or have, don't know a whole lot about like the early Pleasant Company dolls. Um, like I mentioned in the last video, she um, has the larger teeth, which they did basically from the beginning, like in 1986, um, through the first, like, I would say maybe the first three months or so, maybe a little bit longer um, in 1987. Uh, so if you see a doll that has like really big teeth like this, she's very, very early um, and quite valuable. And they're, um, if not my favorite, uh, they're most people's favorites, I feel like, because they just, I don't know, they really kind of, I feel like, hit it out of the park um, in 1987 with these um, classic molds. So, um, yeah, my fav some of my favorite dolls are the 1987 ones, and uh, this is my newest one, and I really, really like her, and she actually came with her braids like this, or not braids, but like her pigtails. She wasn't braided, but... Um, they were like kind of just tied up like this. And that's almost exactly how they were in the um, catalog for her winter story, like with a raincoat. Uh, they kind of brushed her braids out and did them like this. So I thought it'd be perfect to kind of get her, um, you know, dressed in the raincoat um, to match the catalog because that's what I do. But I just realized um, my raincoat that I use for her is in her trunk, like her second trunk that's on top of the um, display case. So I have to hop up there really quick and get it. Um, and I'm stepping on like a million things. I did not clean up since the last part. So there's stuff all over the floor. Um, so if you hear me scream, it's because I've stepped on like a rogue doll stand. But yeah, again, like Samantha, I actually have um, both versions of her trunk. And this is like the first edition that I keep. Um, basically on top of my display cases and it's just kind of where I keep like extra outfits um yeah and anything that um just it's kind of like overflow um because again my like clothing collection has gotten kind of like out of control so um anyway I know it's probably annoying with me being out of frame but I don't have a table to put all this stuff on so um anyway I'm gonna dig through here and get her raincoat uh really quick and then I'll be right back all right, so here's uh, her raincoat. And one interesting thing about this, like as um, much of a dork I am to have everybody in first editions, this is one outfit that I do not use my first edition for because the fabrics that they used um, in like 1988, I think even like 1989, uh, were really, really, really poor quality. So yeah, most of them have disintegrated over time. And I have one that's in like decent condition that's tucked away that I don't even touch. Cause like every time you even like breathe on it, it's just like the, like it turns to like yellow dust and just disappears into the ether. So I just kind of have it tucked away. Um, so I can say that I have it and put a check mark on my list, but I don't even take it out of the bag. Cause they like literally leave so much residue everywhere. Um, and I've seen people like ruin their dolls with them and I've gotten dolls in the past too, like um, one of my like big tooth Molly dolls that I got came with the first edition rain jacket and she just had like little like yellow spores or like she looked like she <laughs> was like um, allergy season and she was like completely covered in pollen. And so um, yeah, it took a lot to like get that cleaned off. And if you've ever like gotten it in a lot with other things, like it just sticks to stuff. Like, so I mean, again, I don't want to go on an hour rant on like how terrible that is. That's all to say that that doesn't get anywhere near the doll. So I actually use a later edition and this is probably from like 92. No, this is from 1996. This might be actually one of the like uh, newest things in my collection, but it still looks really good. It looks similar to the catalog and Molly looks super cute in it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of stick um, the big tooth Molly in this. Um, so we can get her all ready for winter. And I think hopefully this will be a pretty quick one. Um, 
Like I said, I think in the catalog, I don't think they actually put any clothes underneath this rain jacket on her. I think she's like completely like nudie Rudy underneath it. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. Like, I'm not going to bother undressing her. It just, you know, makes it that much easier to put her, um, like take this off when winter's over. Um, but again, like everything with these tiny little sleeves, this is being so stubborn to put on. Um, but yeah, this is another one I think is like... Maybe not as iconic, but I think it was popular. I feel like this is one of those things that, like, everybody that had a Molly ended up getting this, like, raincoat for some reason. Um, it was super popular, so I see it all the time. But, um, yeah, it's really cute. And the later ones are actually pretty well made. Um, like this one I'm putting on now, they, like, thicken the fabric up. And, um, yeah, they're just a lot more durable. And I think you could actually take this out in the rain, which is actually kind of, like, really great for play value. Um, if you had a doll... Um, and it was raining outside, you could put this on her and like kind of protect her. So I think that's really cool. Um, again, cause this fabric, like, I feel like it's like the material from like an inner tube or something is like very waterproof. But if I could get her tiny, stupid little hand through here, like she's almost ready to go. And, um, I think, like I said, we're like working on trying to replicate the catalog as closely as possible, but... Um, I think that they, uh, like, fasten the clasps on the front of this thing, but I think it looks kind of crazy to do that. Let's see. Her collar is, like, popping up through here. Um, she is an 80s girl, so I guess a popped collar would be true to form, but let's see if we can get that in there. And, yeah, her meat outfit's looking kind of baggy on her because of this, but, um, can you even see this? Um... But yeah, this is so cute. And like I said, I kind of like having one that's, you know, a little less valuable and like, um, like a later one just as like a secondary, um, like outfit to use for display. So I don't have to like worry about it too much. Like I can kind of rough it up a little bit and, you know, if it gets a little wrinkle or whatever, not a big deal, but, um, she was the easiest one to dress. So I think that was a major, uh, victory for the day because I think the first doll in the last video took me like almost 20 minutes to get in the outfit, but, um, yeah, she's looking so cute. Let's see if I can get the hat on her without totally screwing her hair up. Let's see. Oh yeah. This, oh gosh, this is so cute. Again, this is definitely one of my favorites. Um, and I live in the Pacific Northwest right now. Um, and, this is definitely appropriate for the winter here. So, um, oh yeah, she looks so cute. But yeah, there's Molly in her winter outfit. Um, I actually have, you know what? I should probably put her galoshes on, but I'm going to do it later because it will probably take a million years. And I actually like confession. I really don't like those galoshes. Um, even though I know they were like a big part of the story. Um, or were they? I guess they were. I just remember the word galoshes from being a kid. I think that's how I learned what galoshes were. Um, but I don't really like them um, that much. So um, I'll probably put them on later. But for now, we got the most important parts on. Um, and I don't think... Should I clasp these? Yeah, why not? Like I said, I would be a hypocrite if I said I was worried about messing this up. But the challenge will be doing this with one hand. And I, did I already mess this up? I think I messed this up already. Huh, look at that. This is fixable. I've, I've had to fix these before, but I just like popped her clasp off. And I think that's the universe telling me, uh, yeah, don't close the jacket. So we're going to put her away before I screw anything else up. But for now, we can have a um, nice little look at her. I, she's got silver eye, which I actually know how to fix. I've fixed silver eye on a ton of dolls. It's one of my like fortes in terms of um, doll restoration. Um, so at one point, uh, I'm going to fix her eye, but like I mentioned in the last video, I've got a lot of dolls um, that are basically waiting to be sold, and a lot of them um, need work. So um, all of my, like, collection dolls, like some of the newer ones that I've gotten to keep, um, I, they're kind of, like, on the back burner for now in terms of um, getting them fixed up. So she's probably going to have silver eye for a little while longer, but, um, you know, I'm not mad about it. I You know, it kind of gives them a little bit of character. Um, and some people actually like kind of prefer when their eyes silver, especially if they like silver really evenly. Um, but for me, like I tend to not like them having silver eye ultimately, so I will fix her. All right, so let's put her back on the shelf and I'm probably going to lose this, but like I said, I didn't really pay anything for this jacket. Um, so I'm not that concerned. 
that I basically just broke it. Oh, and really quickly while we're looking at Molly, speaking of like big tooth, um, I got my other, like one of my other big tooth Mollies dressed up for winter last night, like off camera. Um, and this is kind of what prompted me to finally get all this done. But um, this is one of my favorite Mollies. Um, again, she's another big tooth. Um, this isn't her original wig. Um, ultimately, I need to find maybe one that's a little bit better for her or like do a better job restoring her original wig. Um, but this was one of my first um, 86. Is she an 86 or 87? I think she might be somewhere in between. Like she's one of those ones that we're not totally sure, but she might be as old as 86. Um, uh, based on a few different factors. But anyway, I really love this doll. She's one of my favorites and I got her dressed up and uh, I think she looks super duper cute. I love these Oxfords. Like they're one of my favorite pieces from Molly's collection, um, you know, because they're just kind of like simple and that's kind of how I like to dress is like kind of simple with like plain colors. And if like, I don't know, I feel like navy's a neutral, but I basically wear neutral colors too. But yeah, I just thought she looked really cute. So I thought I'd show her to you. And you'll have to excuse my creaky floor. Like it's winter time and the house gets extra creaky. Um, and there's like one spot right in front of the doll collection that like every time I turn around, it's like a, an annoying like creaking sound. So sorry about that. Um, what else? I've got my 1986 Molly in her Christmas outfit. Should we change her out? I think I'm going to because um, I am really kind of sick of looking at Christmas dresses. So I'm gonna kind of try and wedge her out of here without knocking everything down um so yeah this is my uh first edition molly um she's a 1986 you can see she's got those small rounded teeth that we collectors often refer to as chip teeth um but yeah she's in her first edition christmas dress as well again she's got the tag and <laughs> she's gonna moon you hang on um <laughs> it's got the made in west germany tag on it so again that's how we know it's first edition and the lace is a little bit different um so again this is one that's probably not um super duper so anyway this is one that's not super duper different um from the standard one we all know um but yeah it's just a slightly different material the lace is a little bit different it's got the tag but um i put it on the first edition one um just you know for fun uh but yeah let's go ahead and get her out of this and again i think i'm gonna be brave and not like cover up the velcro even though i usually try to do it i don't think there's like a major risk with screwing anything up because uh, these aren't her factory braids either so um yeah i'm not too worried about like snagging anything but I haven't actually decided what I'm going to put her in. I might put her in her, like, after-school outfit, the one with the um, the corduroy pants and the, what would you call that? Like, a flannel shirt. Um, I'm trying to, like, focus on not snagging this. Um, but anyway, I might put her in that. I think that might be fun to put her in. That's, like, one of my favorite outfits for Molly because I like all the pants and stuff um, that she had in her collection. Um Oh yeah, like another like little dirty little secret about this doll. This actually isn't her original body. Um, this doll, I can't remember why I did this. I might have had her sitting for a while. That's probably why I, just, I swapped her body out. Um, but yeah, I just, I've swapped her with the body of another white body doll. So her um, like actual real body is sitting in a box somewhere with a bunch of silica gel packets. So um, another reason I'm not like, super careful with this doll um because yeah again it's really mainly her head is only the, the original valuable part of her all right let me set this aside let's put that right there um so yeah i really love this doll and this is actually another thing that i um like that i don't like about the first edition christmas dress of hers is it always like leaves like little green spots all over like that um the velvet is not a good velvet uh they upgraded that and I think it was like 1990 or 1991 when they finally like upgraded the velvet. Um, but the original velvet on Molly's Christmas dress is like always likes to leave behind like little lint balls. Um, so again, if you're not like really persnickety about getting early edition stuff, I would say like aim for um, a Christmas dress that's like 1991 or later. Um, Cause the, the ones that like 1991 through like 92, maybe up to 94, I can't remember the exact year, um, still didn't have the buttons on the front. So it still kind of looks like a first edition, like the catalog. Um, um, but it's just, it's a lot nicer quality. That's something that they improved um, kind of early on. But anyway, um, I have to dig out this outfit. I actually don't know where it is. And it's going to be real fun watching me trying to put the uh, shirt on her with like no table. 
All right, I got a work outfit. I went, I had to go dig it out of like another um, box. Cause like I said in the last video, I've got stuff like everywhere at this point. I, and that's part of the problem of having like a pristine first edition of something. And then I'm actually just gonna leave this lint on her. I like don't even care at this point. Um, but that's like the problem with like having multiples of things is like, it's just like running out of a place to put everything. Um, Normally I would take her shoes off, but I'm using both pairs of the Oxfords I have. So I actually, this is probably not the best thing to put her in, but I've already started. And so I'm just going to keep going. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is one of my favorite outfits of hers. I really love the color. I mean, clearly like, I mean, hello, like this is like my favorite color to wear. So, um, yeah, I really love these corduroys. Again, I always loved when they had kind of like tomboy clothes and stuff because it was just, you know, as a kid, it was a little bit more easy for me to relate to because, you know, this is totally something I would have worn in the 90s. In fact, I probably had multiple pairs of these. Um, I loved corduroy. That was like a big thing. Again, a lot of you watching this might not have even been alive in the 90s, but like I was like kind of into skater culture and like, you know, <laughs> it's kind of funny like knowing me now. Um, but yeah, I was like really into like heavy metal and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I was wearing like baggy corduroy pants in the 90s. So, um, oh yeah, and that kind of like brings me, um, I probably shouldn't be talking about this because I think that um, like Mattel like tries to keep, or American Girl tries to keep all this stuff under wraps. But like um, the new leaks have just come out for the like historical dolls. And I'll probably will do a reaction video once those uh, like images are kosher. Um, Cause for now they are, you know, they're considered a leak. And I think, a lot, you know, American Girl's probably going around and getting videos demonetized, but something tells me they're not watching this. So um, anyway, yeah, the I just saw the leaks like uh, a couple days ago for the, um, for the new 90s historical twins, which when we say 90s, I'm, I don't know that American Girl has come out to say that they're 90s twins because the, um, we've seen the books on them and the books are like 1999. So, um, I would not really consider that nineties. They're probably thinking of them more as like Y2K. And I don't know, it almost looks like they don't have stories to go along with them too. So, um, but if they did, I would assume they're going to be talking about like, you know, the, um, turn of the century, like, um, or the new millennium. Um, and that would be part of their story if they had one, but, um, there was some stuff in that collection I really liked. Um, there were a few things where I'm like, mm, I don't know about that, but you know, I'm obviously not going to jump on like the hater bandwagon. They're cute dolls and I might get them still. Um, but I think my favorite two things of that entire collection, hang on, let me get the, um, her shirt and I'll be right back. Anyway, where was I? Um, my favorite two things in that entire collection of everything I've seen, I've seen like the dolls, I've seen uh, a few play sets and furniture. Like I think they've leaked like pretty much the entire collection. Um, and I think my favorite two things of the like entire thing are like that Pizza Hut play set, which is so cool. Um, and you know, it, they got that one right, like down to like having those plastic red cups. Like I thought that was so, so cool. Um, and the other thing I really liked was there, even though it's not the right year, they have a Tamagotchi in one of the play sets. And again, I was really into Tamagotchis when they came out. Like I was obsessed with mine. Like I took it like to tennis camp and everything and like had to run back to the room and like make sure I fed it and everything. Like I was obsessed with virtual pets, but that was like 1997, I want to say, maybe even 1996. Um, so, you know, to put up like, to like, I feel like they had to kind of shoehorn in the Tamagotchi. Um, like, I feel like that kind of stuff was like out of fashion, like by 1999, but uh, I'm not complaining because I would love a mini Tamagotchi. So I probably will get that if, even if I don't like get, get the dolls or anything, um, I probably will get the set that has the Tamagotchi because that's so cool. I really hope it works. Um, I don't know if it does or not based on the pictures, but it would be really awesome if it actually worked. Um, I would definitely get it if it did then. Um. But I'm trying to think what else was in that collection um, that I liked. Um, I actually think I liked the doll Isabel a little bit better than Nikki. Um, I think it's just like a color thing. Um, but yeah, jury's still out whether I will get those or not. Um, because, I mean, as you can tell, like I mostly collect like 80s Pleasant Company. But I just, I really do like following along with what American Girl is doing. Um, I just, you know, I don't have the space to like put all this stuff in, it gets kind of overwhelming. Um, but I still, you know, from time to time, I will buy something from American Girl just because, you know, they might make something I really love and I think it kind of fits in with uh, my collection. So, um, 
yeah, like I said, jury's still out. I may or may not get them, um, but it, it feels kind of weird to only get one of them, so I feel like it's going to be, like, I don't know, like a $400 commitment to get, like, both of those dolls with their accessories, so, um, yeah, I'm not sure yet, but I do like them. I think, um, I think they will probably do well, um, so, yeah, we'll just kind of have to wait and see um, when the official word comes out. Anyway, like, here I am, like, with my adult hands trying to get these buttons buttoned. Um, and this, like, a lot of times you'll see this outfit and it's, like, missing buttons. And you can tell why. They're, like, these teeny tiny little buttons um, that are kind of hard to put on. Um, but, yeah, we'll keep going. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is, like, one of my favorite outfits for Molly, again. Because it probably, <laughs> it just looks like something I would wear. Um, so that's why I like it so much. Um, I think it was released in like 1990 or 1991. I can't remember. Um, but this is, this one has, I think, 1990 tags. Oh, and again, I think I complained about this in the last video, but, um, this was one I bought on eBay and I paid a lot for, like, I paid more than it was probably worth. Um, cause I think I got it in like 2021 when prices were like the highest they ever were. Um, so the like seller sold this to me as like a completely like mint brand new. It had the packaging and everything like the ribbons. Um, and then it showed up and it was covered in dog hair. And I was like, oh, like, I don't know. I like, I really, I think I paid like $85 just like for this, like this one outfit and like, like the packaging basically. Um, so like, I was not happy when that showed up with, um, like animal hair all over it. Cause like I said, I understand that this, these are like vintage dolls that have been played with. And a lot of times you get dolls that are just like so, so dirty that like their vinyl is like basically a different color. Um, but I don't know. It just seems like extra lame to ship something that is like covered in animal hair. I don't know. I just, to me, it's like disrespectful. So every time something shows up with animal hair, I'm just like, ugh. I mean, yeah, well, I guess f you too. <laughs> so um, anyway, yeah, I'm going to tuck her shirt in because I think this outfit actually looks better with a shirt tucked in. Um, and so you are no longer dressed for Christmas, which... Like I said, it was starting to stress me out that all these dolls still had their Christmas outfits on because, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, when, like, in our house, like, the day, like, literally the day after Christmas, all the decorations come down. Like, we don't, like, leave them up very long. Now, we might, like, if we were really feeling it, like, for one year, we might, like, leave the tree, like, undecorated and leave only the tree in just to have, like, the lights. But everything comes down, like, right away. So it's, like, been kind of, like, silently killing me to, like, have all these dolls, like, with their Christmas outfits on, because I just feel like it, like, I feel dragged into the past, like, looking at Christmas decorations, like, the day after Christmas. So, yeah, I'm, like, one of those people that's, like, driving around judging everyone that has all their Christmas lights up on, like, January 14th. Sorry. But I guess now, like, I don't have a leg to stand on because, um, yeah, yikes um but anyway yeah i love this outfit she looks so cute and this looks better than the christmas dress on her so um this is making me like her a little bit more i think with her in the christmas dress i was like I, that's probably like a weird phenomenon too is like um a lot of times i feel like um and i think a lot of you will relate to this um you might not be feeling a doll as much you're like uh i'm not you know, you, you just look at her and you think, do I really need this doll? I don't know if I'm liking her as much. And you start like thinking about like selling them. And then you're like, okay, well, um, then like you basically like redress the doll and like take pictures of her, um, to like get the listing ready to sell her. And you're like, Oh, wait a minute. Now I actually don't hate you. And that's kind of like what can happen. Like if you change a doll's outfit and that's always like, if someone says they're thinking about selling a doll and they're not sure if they want to sell her or not, I say, change the outfit and take pictures of her and pretend you're about to sell her. And that will probably help you make up your mind. Um, obviously the other tip too, is to like, just basically, if you don't need the money quickly, um, and you're just trying to clear up some space, um, taking them off the shelf, um, and like, oh, and putting them in a box away and not looking at them, just like put them away for like a month maybe. And then, um, see if you still miss them. But yeah, like if it's been like a month and you go to pick the doll up and you're not like, oh, I'm so glad that I still have you, then that's probably a good sign that you should sell her. But anyway, let me put this one back. Um, this shelf is getting kind of crowded. Again, I have so many mollies. I think I counted the other day. I have somewhere around like 15. 
Um, cause again, I have more dolls that actually aren't on display in this, um, like on this display here. Um, they're kind of, I have some in my office and I have some that are like kind of tucked away too that I just, again, I ran out of space. So, um, yeah, I think I have somewhere like, it's at least 10, but I think I have about 15 mollies and I really need to like pick some to get rid of because it's too many. Um, but yeah, so I've got my twin, um, like 86 mollies. They're in their pajamas, which I kind of consider a Christmas outfit. Um, but I'm feeling kind of lazy and I don't think I'm going to change them out of their pajamas yet. I'm going to have a look. Yeah, I'm going to leave them in the pajamas. Again, I have first edition pajamas, which, um, are very, very rare. I think that's probably Molly's rarest outfit, um, to like to find the first edition pajamas. I'll show them to you. But they, their design is like very similar to the like standard ones, but these ones are made in West Germany and the tag is in like a weird spot in these. I can never find it. Here it is. Um... Again, you got this West German tag in here, if you can see it, like the big um, paper tag. But these pajamas are actually made out of flannel. It's probably hard to see on camera, but they are fuzzy. Like they're not um, like your typical, I don't know, again, I don't know my fabrics. I think it's just like a cotton with like a stripe printed on it. But uh, these are flannel and they're really fuzzy and soft. Um, and again, impossible to find. I didn't realize they were a thing until randomly I saw a pair on eBay one day. Um, and I bought them because I recognized the tag on them. Um, and I ended up getting a second pair. Actually, they came with my signed Molly. I have Molly number 726. Is that right? Yeah, 726, which is a super low number for Molly, even though I'm trying to get one that's a lot lower. Um, she came with this version of the pajamas. So I actually have two sets, which I love because I have a, like basically two dolls that I call the twins. I got um, two 1986 Mollies from the same seller at the same time for a really good deal. Um, I'll get into the story later, but, um, they're like my most sentimental dolls. Um, and so like, I always like to have double outfits for them. So it's kind of fun to have like the matching, like 1986 pajamas for them. Cause it's really fun at Christmas time. Um, that's basically how I dress them for Christmas is putting their pajamas on. Um, cause it's really festive looking and they kind of look like, um, I was gonna say walking candy canes. I promise like I'm not delusional enough to think that they're like walking and talking, but, um, yeah, it's very Christmassy, but I'm going to go ahead and leave, uh, the twins in the um, pajamas for now because I don't know what to put them in. I'm gonna have to think about it and this video I am gonna try not to make this an hour long like the last one so we'll go ahead and put them on the shelf and move on. <laughs> and yeah I have um, a display for Molly's like Christmas stuff but I kind of leave that up year round. You can probably see part of it in frame but like I have like pretty much every version of everything that was sold before like 1993 like all the flip books and the yo-yos and the playing cards. Um, I just kind of leave them out because it was such a task to try and find all those. So I'm still like appreciating that I have them all. So I kind of leave them out year round. But um, I think, who do we want to do next? Do we want to do Felicity maybe? Yeah, let's do Felicity because she's actually the last one that I actually have winter stuff for. Let me figure out. Okay, so I recently got her doll. I think this is a first edition. It's got a 91 tag. Um, I got this after Christmas, I think, but she got really uh, chunky feet. I haven't seen one with um, feet this like, can you even see this? Hang on. Now I see why the influencers always do this because it's trying to focus on my face instead of the um, doll. But um, yeah, she's got like really big feet, which kind of is funny to me. So she might be a first edition because um, of how different her feet look. Let's see. So we'll get her down. Oh no, this is falling. Let me just stick this here. This is what happens when you have everything placed just so. Like you move one thing and everything comes down like dominoes. Um, but yeah, I'll take Felicity on. This is my first edition Felicity, which I technically have two Felicities. One of them is just like was brand new in the box. So she just is kind of like box bound. Um, and so I don't, I don't ever even like look at her. I might actually should, I should maybe sell her, but, um, I, this is my, um, main Felicity and she's the first edition and she is so pretty. I think this is, um, like one of my prettiest dolls. Um, she just has really beautiful coloring and I've gone on about her before in her little like drink coaster hat. Um, but yeah, this is, um, this is a really beautiful Christmas outfit too, but it's, like I said, it's time to go. I'm sick of looking at all this stuff. So, um, actually have her like hand like hang tag or hand tag I don't know what you call this um the tag that they put around their hands but I'm gonna take this off because I'm gonna screw this up um anyway this one should be pretty easy to undress actually how does this I've only put this on her once so I think I just undo this yeah 
So this comes off. Oh, now it's all coming back to me. Um, I just remembered how much of a pain this necklace is to deal with. And I'm tempted to leave it on her, but I'm worried it's actually going to like tarnish and stain her vinyl. So I'm going to have to take it off. And we're going to see if I can do this on camera. But um, other than that, this kind of slides off pretty easily. And again, I'm not worried about the Velcro on this. So we're just going to unsnap it and skin the cap. Um, all right, so this, she like randomly has like one garter on. I, this is how she came. I just left her like that. So um, anyway, this, oh, her bow's like all messed up too. But um, I'm gonna have to do this off camera. I'm gonna like break this necklace. Just give me one second to get this off of here. Okay, that was actually a lot easier to take off than it was to put on. Um, but what will be even more of a challenge is not losing this because I'm gonna just like toss this down. Oh, we'll see if I find that later. Um, yeah, her bow came undone. Um, let me, I'm going to redo that. All right. I think I snagged her hair a little bit, but again, that's not a big deal. Um, this wasn't factory hair. Actually, re this was one of the first rehabs I tried to do like publicly, which um, I like showed a little bit of the process on my Instagram account, which you can follow me at I Dream of Johnny. Um, if you want to follow along uh, like any other random stuff there. Um, but yeah, that's like when I was like basically first getting into dolls and like kind of getting my stride with like rehabbing and stuff. She was one of the first ones I documented, um, like redoing her hair. But um, anyway, yeah, I love this doll. Uh, what was I doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. So I'm going to put her in. I think I'm going to put her in her work dress because the catalog, I think, had her in the Christmas outfit. But like I said, it's like stressing me out to look at Christmas stuff. So I'm going to put her in the work dress because I think they... Uh, and some of the catalog images later, maybe, or in the books or something. There's some version of it somewhere where they had her in the work dress with her, like, winter cloak. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to grab that really quick. All right, and here it is. This is actually a first year, I believe. Um, but I'm not going to... I have all the extra, like, the apron and the... I think it came with a bonnet and a shawl, so I have all of that, but I'm not going to put it on her because I don't think it's, like, necessary to, like, do all that because I'm going to put the hood, like, on her head. Um... So yeah, I don't even think I'm going to bother with the apron. We'll see. Um, but yeah, this is the part where I end up snagging her socks, but whatever. Um, just throw that on the ground. Usually it's like, it looks like a war zone in here. Like I'm just throwing everything on the ground, which I'll have to clean that up later. But um, yeah, anyway, let's see if I can get this on her without totally screwing her up. This is a doll again. I probably should tighten her limbs, but um, she ended up being like, she sits um, up in that top shelf because, you know, the limitations of what I have, um, as far as my display, um, I can only have like so many standing dolls and then the rest of them, uh, like a few of them have to sit. Um, but eventually like, oh, a lot of people ask me, I guess if you're like watching this and you're curious, like what I use to display my dolls, these are just Ikea bookshelves. Um, there are the, um, Billy bookcases in the color black brown. Uh, and I think they work pretty well. Um, I like how everything looks. Um, but that said, like, I probably, for, like, filming and being on camera, I probably would get white ones if I had it to go over again because I think that would look a little bit better and happier on camera. Um, but in person, I prefer the darker colors. I just, you know, when I think of Pleasant Company, I think of, you know, sort of, like, moodier colors. I mean, like, burgundy was their, like, like company color. So, um, like, talk about moody. That's, like, one of the moodiest colors ever. So I just feel like the darker um, wood kind of, I don't know, it warms everything up. And to me, it just looks like a little bit better um, than white does in person. But I think most people go with white just because the dolls like present better. Like they kind of pop off the background a little bit more. And like I said, in the next house, I'm probably going to do a different like shelving setup. Just, I mean, to be real, just so it like looks better on camera. Um, and I might do something custom. I'm not totally sure yet, but um, I really do like what I have now, just as far as, like, day-to-day, uh, -day, like, how the dolls look on it. I do like the darker colors, so um, maybe that's just me. I don't know. But um, anyway, so, yeah, she sits on that shelf, so I'm not really, like, that concerned about, like, retightening her limbs because it doesn't matter. Um, and this, she's got her original stringing, so, um, I, you know that makes her more original, so I'm not going to bother altering her. I probably should redo her hair because it's a little bit, like, there's a lot of flyaways, but 
Um, I'm not doing it in this video. I'll have to do it later. Um, but anyway, yeah, so again, I've got another first edition. Um, this was a 1991 tag. But again, I don't think this changed very much over the years. Um, I, I'm just, like, like I said, I'm a crazy person. And part of, like, what's fun about collecting for me is, like, chasing down something from the first year. It just, it slows me down, so I just don't go and buy everything all at once. Um, but also, yeah, I don't know. There's, it's, to me, it's just fun. Like, it just makes collecting more fun and makes the hunt, like, that much more um, of a chase to try and find, like, a very specific thing. Um, how am I supposed to do this? I haven't actually never put this on her. I only got this, like, a few months ago, and I was saving it for this moment. And now that I'm looking at her, I think she looks really stupid in this. So I've got to figure out, like, how to do this. I think I'm supposed to tie... I, yeah, I guess I tie this, like, in a bow. I don't know if I like this. I was so excited about this because I thought, like, she is going to look so sick in this. But, like, I don't know. Maybe it's because she needs the blue underneath it. I don't know. Let me tie it. Let me, um, let me get this tied up in a bow and we'll see what we think. All right. I just did that really quickly. Um, I don't know. This is very, like, Handmaid's Tale. Maybe that's why I don't like this. Um... But maybe once we get her set down, I've got these, like, I actually bought her winter accessories so I could get her, like, all, like, dolled up for the winter. But now, like, I'm looking at all this stuff. I gotta say, I don't know if I like this. Oh, actually, that looks kind of cute like that. Maybe that's, is that how they do it in the catalog, maybe? Like, kind of, like, fanning that out. That looks a little bit better. Maybe I'll do it that way. But, like, again, I don't know a lot about, like, historical fashion and, um... You know, I don't care about it enough to actually go look it up, which is, like, kind of screwed up to say, I guess, um, considering, like, how much I love these dolls and collect them. But, um, yeah, we'll put these on here. But, I, yeah, this winter outfit, um, I don't think it's my favorite. I gotta say, it's, like, a little bit odd. Um, I just looked in here. This has, I swear, if this seller sold me a piece together set. Now, this happens sometimes, um, like, when they were transitioning to, like, the... Um, the American Girl branding from Pleasant Company, you will find accessory sets that have like both stickers in there that say Pleasant Company and they'll say American Girl on them. So this is probably just a transitional set. Um, but the seller didn't show the stickers on the inside of this. And these actually say American Girl on them, um, which I'm not happy about because that means I have to go find new ones. But the shoes say Pleasant Company. So I thought I was pretty close to getting a first year of these. So yeah, this is going to be for display for a little while and these are getting sold. So um, do I even want to put these on? Because I'm all like, ew, I don't want to put this on now. It says American Girl. Like, I even, like, it's that big of a deal. But, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to, like, we're going to do the whole thing and see. I'm going to put one of these on and I'm going to put her, um, the, I don't know if that's called a muff or not. I'm calling it a muff. But, yeah, we'll put one of these on and we'll put the muff on the other hand. All right, she's got this, like, cast thing. I don't know. It's probably some, like, oh, I keep my hands warm while I'm doing whatever I did, like, hundreds of years ago. Um, and then we've got this, like, little muff here. I'm just going to stick that on her hand. Again, it's blue. It's This was obviously meant to coordinate with her Christmas outfit, but I am sick of looking at other things. So I don't know, y'all. This looks really stupid. <laughs> Sorry if you're, like... I just, is she colonial? Yeah, like if you're a, like a colonial ghost, like trying to haunt me, um, this looks stupid. So uh, we're gonna just go ahead and sit her down. This I like don't mean to like completely roast Felicity. I actually love Felicity's collection. I have most of the outfits from her, like you know everything from 1991 to 93, which is a good chunk of like what was made for Pleasant Company, like or what Pleasant Company made for her. And I love most of it. The details on it are so beautiful. But uh, this outfit ain't doing it for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and just sit her down, and we'll deal with this like tragedy later. <laughs> but I am not feeling this right now at all. I maybe should look up a picture and see if I did that wrong. But that looks stupid. Oh my god, that's gonna bug the absolute crap out of me. I'm probably gonna have to change that tomorrow, but um, yeah, just maybe like avert your eyes. Oh, my poor first edition Felicity. She's so cute, but she looks so dumb in that outfit. All right, anyway, um, we're gonna do Addie next, and um, the sad thing about Addie is I actually bought her uh, winter outfit to you know to have in time for this winter, and it showed up with two things. One, American Girl tags, which is not that big of a deal, but I bought a first edition Addie thinking I like, that had that coat on. I was like, surely that's like a ninety. 
that might have been a 94 tag that I'm looking for, but I assumed that that was going to be a first edition, and unfortunately it came and it was like American Girl. I don't know why um, such a late jacket was on her, but so um, I would have used it um, if it was just that, but it showed up smelling like smoke, and like that is like a huge no-go for me. So um, I basically, uh, you know, I left it in my garage, I Febreze it, I aired it out. I think all the smell is gone from it, but it's like, I absolutely adore my Addy, who is a first edition, and she's a very unique looking one. I will not do anything to compromise her um, because I absolutely love that doll. And if she starts smelling like smoke, it will like ruin my life. So anyway, I got her Ida Bean um, recently, like in a lot of things. And again, it's a first edition, um, which I believe is tagless, um, but really cool. She has the like made in China thing in here. And if you know more about Addy than I, I do and this is not first edition let me know but i'm pretty sure it is because usually these have um pleasant company tags in them but that like little gold sticker makes me think that this is a first edition and she came with a first edition addy so um anyway she's got that which is really cute um but i'm gonna throw it down here real quick um this spelling bee pen that i like showed in an unboxing a while back i don't even have her school dress which i really want i think it's the last thing of hers that i don't have um in terms of outfits. Ugh, let's go and get her out of here without messing her up. Oh my gosh, and her shoes are untied. Oh, it's getting messy, but you know, we're here, we're chilling, we're having fun. But yeah, this is my first edition Addy, and she's got like a really full round face. Um and like more so than like other first edition Addies, and I just think she's so, so pretty. I really, really love her. Um, and this Christmas dress, um, was brand new in the bag when I first, like when I got it. So um, it's very, very crisp. And like, I just, you know, it feels like it just got shipped from Pleasant Company in 1993. Um, but yeah, the sad thing is, is I actually don't have winter clothes for her this year. Um, so maybe next year. Um, so I think what we're gonna do is put her in her prototype dress, which is probably my favorite thing I have for her that's like appropriate to put her in now. Um, yeah, let's put her in the prototype dress. I think that'll be cute. So again, we will rotate her head. I actually um, have been working on her hair. Um, it, the person that had her before me didn't take good care of it. Um, so I've been trying to work like on detangling it. Um, and I love working with Addie's hair. The textured hair is so fun to work with. Um, I just feel like it's like sculptable and like if you want to braid it, it like holds its shape. Um, but it needs to be like, um, like it's gotten sort of matted on the ends. So, um, I've been working on that uh, a little bit. So that's why her hair's down and not um, like braided in uh, her original hairstyle. Um, but I do like her hair down too. So um, anyway, yeah, um, I, I have just like a little bit more work to do on this and I'll probably braid it and put it back up. Um, but yeah, let's like basically turn her head around and get her out of this. Oh yeah, this is the original um, factory bow. Um, so let's see if we can get this off of her without having to untie this bow, because this was like the original bow tie, I think in 1994, I think this is actually a second edition, or not even edition, but it's like not a very, very, like, first run. Uh, I'm gonna use a satin ribbon actually, because I think this is gonna snag if I don't. Um, yeah, but anyway, uh, I don't know what I was saying, but I love this Christmas dress. This is probably... I think this is actually my favorite Christmas dress of everybody's if I'm like thinking about it. Um, this is my favorite. I, again, I love plaid and stripes and stuff, uh, clearly. Um, and yeah, this to me is just so Christmassy and festive and I love the like cut on it. Um, so yeah, this is probably my favorite Christmas dress of the ones that I have at least. Um, I don't have like a ton of historical dolls. I sneakily have one that isn't the first five um, that I'm going to unbox uh, probably in my next video, actually. But I'm not going to tell you who she is because um, it'll spoil the surprise and you'll be like, why the hell did you buy that doll? Um, but yeah, anyway, so of all the Christmas dresses I have, this one is my favorite. Well, it is like until it takes me 10 years to get it off. All right, trying to get this off without messing up the bow. Um... Again, this is like taffeta, which like for some reason they made like all the Christmas dresses taffeta. I don't know why. Um, maybe historical reasons. I don't know. Um, but the good thing about it is that it doesn't like get damaged as easily. So yeah, that came off and we kept the bow intact and I'll kind of 
fix that up later, but for now, I'm just kind of toss that to the side. Um, let me, I'm actually not going to put her bloomers on because I don't have, um, just her like regular bloomers. I only have the prototype bloomers, um, and they are quite like hard to find. And the ones I got, basically I bought from an ex employee of Pleasant Company. So they are like crisp and new and I don't want to mess them up or like stretch the elastic. So, uh, I'm just going to put the dress on her and we will like, um, you know, try and, you know, cover up the nether regions with like the dress when we sit her down. So let me grab the dress. Oh, and so if you're unfamiliar with this, um, this is what is called like Addie's prototype dress. I don't know the full story behind this. Like people, like I've yet to hear a clear story of what happened, but I think this is originally the dress that they intended to put Addie in like for her um, meat outfit. Um, and I think they changed it last minute. And um, one of the reasons I think this this was like, was the plan, I think, again, correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't read Addie's books since I was a kid. I haven't read any of the books since I was a kid. Um, but I feel like in the description in the books, did I think they described her first like dress, like after escaping slavery, the dress that she was given. I think they described it as cinnamon pink, um, like those that um, description specifically. And that would make sense that this is the dress that they were originally um, intending to use because this is actually cinnamon pink because uh, it's sort of like a uh, pink with like um, sort of like uh, brown like undertones. It's like a it's like a real muted pink. Whereas her um, meat outfit, I can see it, but it's like on the bottom of a ton of clothes. Actually, I will grab it because um, I think this is interesting. So anyway, here's her like what they ended up going with. This is the like. Um, this is the where is she? Oh, she's on the ground. <laughs> um, girl down. But the this is the Addie's like actual meat outfit that they ended up going with. Um, this is a first edition as well. So this was always what they had her in before they changed to be forever. Um, but anyway, you can see the color difference between these two. This I would not describe as cinnamon pink. This is more of like a bright. Um, I don't know how, like, I don't know the, um, what exactly I would call this pink, but I would not call this cinnamon pink. But if you compare it like this to that, you can see how you would call this a cinnamon pink dress. Again, that's like some, like, just interesting lore, I feel like. Um, but yeah, that's why I think this was the original, um, plan for her. And I'm not sure why they changed. I think this is such a pretty, pretty, uh, dress. Um, and again, it's like highly coveted by collectors because it, like, at one point, these were selling for like over $200. And I don't think I paid that much for this one, but um, it came with the bloomers, which was really awesome. I did pay a lot for it, but again, it's because it had the bloomers. And um, yeah, those those are a lot harder to find than the dress itself. So um, anyway, let's get her in this. Again, I'm being kind of cavalier about this, um, about the Velcro, but I've like dressed like more dolls than I care to in one day. Like this has felt like a huge marathon. Um, so, you know, I'm getting lax and that's why her socks are snagged on her dress right now. <laughs> okay. Um, it's fine. It wasn't bad. So yeah. Anyway, this is like probably the, my current favorite dress I have for Addie right now. So that's why I'm going to put her in it. And it's like, you know, a dress for all seasons. Like, I'm not going to stick her in, like, her birthday outfit or whatever. I'm going to save that for the spring. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I just, yeah, I like dressing the dolls seasonally. It just kind of helps, like, change up the display because um, I don't change them regularly because, like I said before, this isn't actually my favorite thing to do. I don't, like, really love dressing dolls. Um, it's, like, kind of a chore. I really like rehabbing them. Um, that's kind of where, like, you know, when I spend time with them, I love working on them and trying to like freshen them up or like completely restore them. Uh, but yeah, so it's like a good excuse to kind of like get everything down and freshen up the display. Um, and honestly, like get them kind of dusted off too, um, just cause they sit still for so long. Um, again, her hair is getting caught in this, but it's not a big deal cause it's down. Um, but anyway, yeah, let's see if I can do this without messing up her neck string. But yeah, I really wish Pleasant Company American Girl would use like snaps or something. I don't know, like the Velcro is like not my favorite. I just, I'm not sure why they went with that. I feel like it would be easier to like, my gosh, her hair snagged in her hand. Um, I feel like snaps would be easier all around. So I don't know why they use Velcro, but it is not my favorite. Um, 
But yeah, doesn't she look beautiful in this? I absolutely, like this, I, they must have had to change this for like logistical reasons, not for aesthetic reasons, because I like, I don't know why um, they would have changed her from this to like the one they ended up going with. To me, this is like objectively prettier. Um, and again, this was before the time like that Mattel got their hands on the brand and like tried to make everything like technicolor. Um, so yeah, oh, I just absolutely love this. Yeah, and for now, I'm probably not going to put another ribbon in her hair. Um, I'm going to leave her hair down because at some point I really do want to kind of like get one last go at it just to um, remove like the tangling from the ends. Um, and then I'll like give her like a really nice factory bow. Or, fa or I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Um, give her a really nice braid. Um, her shoes have come untied. And you know what? I kind of don't care at this point. I'm just going to put her back up on the shelf. Um, but yeah, I, I really, really love this version of her dress and hopefully next winter like we'll have her winter jacket to put her in but um let's put these back up here but um you know this really isn't a bad alternative I think she looks really great all right and I think I'm gonna call it there I think everybody is out of their Christmas outfits finally which is a huge sense of relief and now all I have to do is clean up this gigantic mess that is like all over the floor but um yeah I'm feeling really good it's kind of gotten me excited to like continue on with the new year I mean things are looking up I feel like this is um you know I feel like already 2023 is an improvement on last year so that's really great um but anyway uh this video is getting kind of long so uh I'm gonna say goodbye for now but again um I've got more videos if you made it this far and you want to hear me continue to talk um yeah please be sure to check out my other videos and please subscribe and like and do all that stuff that all the other youtubers uh beg you to do because it really helps me out as a small channel um I'm just you know I'm trying to grow this channel and continue to share all my knowledge and all the things that I've collected over time and just you know get to spend some more time with you guys because this has um like really been a, an amazing journey getting to know all of you as well so anyway I'm rambling um and I'm gonna let you go but thanks again and I hope you take care of yourself and I'll see you soon bye for now